So we want to get now to our reporter, David Spunt. And, and David, as I was about to say, this trial was also taking a look at not just the fact that he lied, but whether or not he could bring into focus anything else that was going on. Because once it was found out that he was working for Hillary Clinton, what else didn't we know? Harris, exactly. Was this lie material to the FBI's investigation? That's something that jurors had to find out. Apparently, they think that he did not lie to the FBI, or maybe it wasn't material. We're getting those details now. I'm getting texts right now from our uh, justice producer, Jake Gibson, who is inside the building behind me. But Michael Sussman, the Clinton campaign lawyer, indicted in special counsel John Durham's probe last September of 2021, not guilty for a charge of lying to the FBI. Harris, to give everyone just a backstory, we've re been reporting this for about two weeks. So Michael Sussman was a Clinton campaign attorney in September 2016. He texted the FBI general counsel, James Baker, who happened to be a friend of his, on a Sunday night on his personal phone, essentially said that he had some information that he wanted to meet with Baker as soon as possible at FBI headquarters. The next day, on September 19th, 2016, Michael Sussman walked down the street here in in Washington into the FBI headquarters and met with James Baker. In that meeting, he relayed information about an alleged secret back channel between the Trump Organization and a Russian bank called Alpha Bank, which had ties to the Kremlin. Now, the question is not if those allegations were true, because the FBI quickly investigated Harris and everyone, and we found out those were not true. They were completely debunked. The question, did Michael Sussman lie? Because in the text message, he told James Baker, and this is text message evidence that jurors saw, he was coming in on behalf of himself as a concerned citizen, not on behalf of a client, for example, the Hillary Clinton campaign. The question is, what did he say to James Baker at the FBI when they met? Because James Baker didn't take any notes. Michael Sussman didn't take any notes. The meeting lasted for 30 minutes. They were the only two in the meeting. And special counsel John Durham with the government, who's been investigating the origins of the Trump-Russia narrative for three years, said and showed the jury he has three hours billed to the Clinton campaign from Michael Sussman that specific day that he met at the FBI. Ultimately, though, jurors thought that that evidence was not strong enough. And, Harris, if I may add, we've spoken to several legal experts, Jonathan Turley, Andy McCarthy, Jim Trusty, all on Fox News, who have said that they would not be shocked if Michael Sussman was acquitted simply because... You have a D.C. jury. Yeah, just Harris. real quickly, what is the status now? Because, I mean, you've got James Baker who had no notes and inconsistent memory. I mean, I, I wonder what next steps really look like at this point. Well, the overall Durham investigation began in 2019. And John Durham at the time was a, he was a, excuse me, U.S. attorney in Connecticut. He resigned from that position about a year later. But he's been investigating the origins of this entire Trump-Russia narrative. Where did it start? Who started it? Uh, we know that it turned out to be false, the, the narrative. Uh, so in 2020, John Durham charged an FBI attorney by the name of Kevin Kleinsmith, a former FBI attorney, for altering a government document, altering a FISA warrant uh, to be able to do surveillance on the Trump campaign aide Carter Page, which we've covered extensively on Fox News over the past five years or so. Kevin Kleinsmith pleaded guilty to this. He had about 12 months of probation and a few hundred hours of community service. This was the first trial, Harris, in three years of the John Durham probe. It began May this month, three years ago. This was the first trial. Michael Sussman will walk out of here a free man not guilty. Now we look forward to the case in October of Igor Danchenko. He's the Russian national uh, that was charged with five counts of lying to the FBI. Michael Sussman charged with one count of lying to the FBI. And Igor Danchenko is charged with misleading the FBI on his alleged involvement with the Steele dossier. I'm sure that rings a bell to many of our viewers. Uh, the consortium of documents that were aimed at taking down Donald Trump, again, all turned out to be bogus. So this is clearly a loss for special counsel John Durham. Not a good day for his investigation. But at the end, special counsel John Durham's team said they can paint a picture showing that the highest levels of the Hillary Clinton campaign were involved in an effort to take down Donald Trump's campaign with right. bogus information. Because if nothing else comes away from all of this, you can't erase what we now know about that. You can't take that fact away. So October is part of the next steps. Uh, David Spunt, excellent job. I, I want to